The absolute best thing you can do to improve your flick shot accuracy is to aim deliberately and to have intention behind every shot. Firing a semi-automatic weapon at the maximum fire rate is often a trap. Most games will allow you to queue up your shots, so if you click just before the weapon is ready to fire again, the shot will still go off, but not when you intend it. In this example, you can see we flick to the target, click with the crosshair over the head, but the shot doesn't go off until afterwards. This is an extremely common way of sabotaging your own aim. If you click at a cadence even slightly faster than the weapon's fire rate, your shots won't be going off when you intend them to. Best practice here is to aim deliberately. You don't need to slow things down dramatically, just make sure it's not exceeding the max fire rate and that you aren't clicking too early. Having an intention behind every shot is a great way to improve your accuracy. Get into the habit of acknowledging your crosshair position and the position of your target, flicking and then clicking. This isn't a slow process either, it all happens in a fraction of a second. It's more about a change in mindset. Instead of autopiloting your shots, make sure they are separated into their own individual actions. Focusing on your target is an incredibly effective way to instantly improve your aim, and in particular greatly improve your headshot accuracy. Don't brush this off too quickly, there's a huge difference between focusing on a target and looking at a target. Take a look at this fan, you can see that it's spinning around, but the blades are mostly a blur. But if you focus on a single blade, you are able to perfectly follow it around. This is the difference we're looking for. Having this level of focus on a target makes it feel like they are moving in slow motion, and you are able to absorb their visual cues, letting you know exactly where they are going. You will also find it much easier to bring your crosshair over to this focal point, which is where improved headshot accuracy comes in. If you are autopiloting just looking at the target and you land a headshot, that's largely just luck. Focusing on the head will allow you to consistently land headshots when you intend to. The dead stop flick technique is an excellent way to consistently land your flicks. The premise here is to flick to your target, click, and then not move your crosshair until your next flick. Now, there still may be a little bounce after that click, but no effort is made to move the crosshair away to a reset point that we'll touch on later. In almost all of the clips shown, you will notice that there is no effort being made to move the crosshair around in between shots. This helps in a few different ways. Firstly, it lets you get a good gauge on your current crosshair position. Keeping in mind, your own movement will still move your crosshair to some degree. Secondly, it lets you split up your flicks into explicit muscle movements. Performing a flick while you are currently tracking makes your crosshair position uncertain and forces your already engaged muscles to change what they're doing on the fly. This technique works best when the target isn't moving too fast or erratically. For example, if you dead stop a target that moves far from your crosshair by the time your next shot is ready, you have to do a massive, difficult flick to get back on target. Rebound flicks are where you purposely move the crosshair away from the target to a reset point in between shots. At a more advanced level with great mouse control, deliberate shots and good focus, dead stop flicks will typically be a better technique the majority of the time, but there is still a time and place for rebound flicks. If there is a lot of visual clutter, they are a great way of clearing up your field of view, providing a better picture of your current crosshair position and the position of your target. If your flicks are stronger to one side, it's a great way of forcing yourself to always flick in that same direction. Personally, I have found that my short, left-sided flicks can at times be inconsistent, so I may resort to some rebound flicks that allow me to do some longer flicks to the right. When doing rebound flicks, the key is to try and land at a safe and consistent reset point that isn't too far away. Repeating the same movements, especially if you just landed a shot, is a great way to land your following shots. Planted flicks are similar to dead stop flicks, but are distinctly different in that they're usually saved for clutch scenarios where you must land your shot and you can safely stand still. The idea is that you stop moving, or at least stop moving laterally, so you have complete control over your crosshair position and can then flick to your target safely. In this example, we see that the Wraith has seen me, I have one bullet, low health, and need a headshot to potentially win the round. 
I choose this point to plant my crosshair, then wait to see which side she peeks. As soon as she peeks left, I focus on the wraith's head, flick and click. While it's not advisable to use this technique in an active fight, it can be a great way to give yourself the best chance of landing your shots when you really need to. You won't always need to flick and click in one single movement, particularly for longer ranged flicks. If you have the time, breaking the aiming movement into two steps can be far more accurate. First, you perform the target acquisition flick to get your crosshair close to the target, and then you perform a second, small, easier flick onto the target. The cost of this much easier second flick is that you have to add in your reaction time after the first flick to see where it landed. This can be very useful if you have to land your shot, like when using a sniper rifle with a long time between shots, you have low ammo, or your target will only be in line of sight for a short time. Generally speaking, it's simply a great way to be more efficient with your damage. If your large flicks are missing the majority of the time, you've wasted the ammo and the time before you can fire again, so you may as well take that reaction time tax for a much more accurate first shot. You can have everything else right, but if you don't account for your own movement, you can be sabotaging your accuracy. Your own movement is vitally important to avoiding damage, so don't change anything there. What you need to avoid doing is firing when you are changing directions. Changing strafe direction quickly shifts your crosshair around, so firing off a flick shot in these moments is unreliable. Ideally, you will be flicking during your strafe or at the end of a strafe, as this is the time when your crosshair is the most stable. A helpful cue can be to change strafe direction when you click for your flick. Practicing your flicks in-game can be a slow and tedious process as actual instances of aiming with this skill can be few and far between. Training in Kovacs can greatly accelerate aim gains with scenarios that allow you to constantly drill this skill. We have curated a flick training playlist that you can try right now with our deep link in the description that will take you straight to the playlist inside of Kovacs. We hope you found this video helpful. Let us know your favorite tip in the comments below. Subscribe for more content like this, and we'll catch you in the next one.